to the room. Uh, Steve McGowan for Steve Boy. I'm just glad we can come together as an open mic. Now, yeah, beat the shit out of that eight-year-old. That was a resounding, yeah! All right, guys, are you guys ready for your next comic? And you want to beat up an eight-year-old? Say yeah. yeah. Woo! Let's keep it going for the other host on the other Sunday night. Sunday night, Mike, give it up for Liam Wolf. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Make some fucking noise, guys. Come on. Kill the elderly! Kill the elderly! Kill! <laughs> Fuck yeah, this is that kind of mic, man. Hell yeah. I was gonna give a heads up. Um, I missed a lot of context, apparently, because sad guy talking about McDonald's was going up. I'm like, I need to take a shit. So I go and take a shit. I get out of taking a shit. I come out, and apparently, like, a TikTok influencer was lecturing us about women's rights. That was what's going on. Like, dude, dude, you are you are dressed up like you should be holding a lavalier to women at outside of clubs, being like, so what's your body count? What's your body count? What's your, what's your, <laughs> did you did you know that like uh, the, if 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 you uh, if a if a lock has one key, it's a good lock, but if the but if the the lock opens with multiple keys, it's a whore lock that deserves to not get laid ever again and be alone. You know, that's what we. Look, man, it's it's all good, all good, it's all good. You, you're a Chad and can't get laid. I'm fat as fuck and I get laid all the time. We're doing great. We're doing good. That's how we do it! Yeah! Ah, oh, man, guys. God, when I was younger, I used to do a shit ton of drugs. A lot of drugs. You know, smoked weed, did acid, salvia, angel dust, not by my choosing. Uh, just everything, because I wanted to open up and unlock my third eye. The only thing I unlocked was my bipolar disorder. You know, I was just one step away from schizophrenia, but then I'm like, nah, no more, man. I'm just gonna drink beer and be an alcoholic. It's fine. No, I just wanted, I wanted to do it all because I really loved Hunter S. Thompson, and I wanted to be like Hunter S. Thompson so much, man, you know? Go on the road, be as creative and psychotic as humanly possible. That shit would be fire. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas, let's go. And then it turns out I turned into Hunter S. Thompson, where I was lighting shit on fire at three in the morning and yelling at my neighbors. <laughs> you know, I wasn't writing much, but I was calling them a fascist a lot. Just like, <laughs> it's like, I know you voted for Reagan! <laughs> fucking fascists! <laughs> Might as well have been Hitler, you fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> Just threw my dog shit in their lawn, you know. Was, it's all good. No, man, it's, we're, we're in an intense time. I'm not sure if you've seen this. I've seen this travesty that's going on, this epidemic. It's happening on the East Coast. Square dancing that's occurring at local bars in the area. Oh, yeah. Fucking abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Like, guys, we fought a war over this. We won that war. Point one of that war, slavery, over. Point two of the war, give me your yeehaw country bumpkin Raising Dixie deep in the heart of Texas, bitch ass, back down to the Mason Dixon line where you belong. No more of this shit. Take square dancing with Larry the Cable Guy and Cajuns under the Mason Dixon line. We don't want them. We already have to deal with French Canadians. We don't need Southern Canadian, Southern French folk, too. I, yeah, Southern Canadians. I don't want Southern Canadians either. They're the most terrifying types of Canadians. <laughs> Canadians that also speak Cajun, terrifying. I got like maybe 30 seconds, 15 seconds. Am I out of time? You have a minute 30. I have a minute 30, then why is my light on? <laughs> God damn, man. I, that was tripping me out. I was like, I was all set to get off and shit. But I have more to tell you, more to tell you. Oh man, I guess I'll get off on this. Uh, since we're doing hot takes, I might as well drop my own hot take. I think it should be fine that you listen to problematic artists, man. You shouldn't feel shame about that, you know? Everybody's got a lot of hot takes. They're like, oh man, you listen to the Dead Kennedys? Did you know Jello Biafra says slurs in his albums? He's a piece of shit. Oh, you listen to Tylo the Creator? You know he says faggot in his music? I'm like, yeah, he's gay. <laughs> But it's like, it goes down the list. I'm telling you right now, honestly, here's the hot take, guys. If your artist isn't problematic and they have nothing wrong with them, their music sucks fucking ass. 
all right? Like David Bowie, great artist, pedophile. Fucking, uh... <laughs> I'm blanking out. Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin, great musician, also a pedophile. Taylor Swift makes music for people that people enjoy, and every time she goes to the grocery store, she flies a private jet, which kills off the planet's life cycle by two years. Everyone is problematic. All I'm trying to say is like, look, I just want to listen to my Charles Manson records in peace, okay, guys? Did I buy John Hinckley's album on Bandcamp? Yes. Did he almost assassinate the president because he was obsessed with teenage Jodie Foster? Yes. Is he a pedophile? Yes. But did he almost kill Reagan? Yes. All right, guys, that's my time. Take it easy.